Katarina, come! Stealing on accident is still stealing. Movie rips off Raiders and inspires the Brendan Fraser mummy movies, all in one establishing shot, to say nothing of the fifth element. After unearthing this ancient artifact, these presumably skilled archaeologists decide that the best course of action is to pull this thing upright, potentially damaging it, even though there's no indication that it's supposed to be that way, unless there's a hieroglyphic on the side that says this side up or something. Hardest game of horseshoes ever. And nothing of importance happened with the strange alien ring door for 75 years. This is the most heavily attended lecture about the Egyptian pyramids in the history of ever. This is a fringe dude with some wacky new theories. No way the hall is packed like a screen junkies panel at Comic-Con. Colonel Weiss discovered Quarryman's inscriptions right. of Khafu's name within the pyramid. Well, his discovery was a fraud. After some quick googling, I discovered there's some controversy around Vice's discovery, but it seems highly unlikely that he forged the Khufu cartouche. Yet no one in the room challenges Daniel's claim that this is a fraud, even though most historians and Egyptologists think Vice's discoveries are authentic. I don't have any idea who built them. Apparently, saying I don't know in a lecture about the pyramids is a huge no-no, because he said plenty of equally crazy stuff before this, yet that statement is what prompted everyone to leave. Someone wants to speak with you! Oh, awesome. Could you be a little more vague? Ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs. I have never heard anyone use that pronunciation in my life. Opening any kind of paperwork in that kind of downpour would leave the paperwork in tatters in a matter of seconds, movie. So f*** you. I know he's curious, but he's a scientist. He's too smart to look at this shit in a downpour of Noah-level rainfall. Hey, we need a way to show this former soldier is despondent. I've got it. Have him looking at childhood photos and zoning out while literally stroking a potential suicide gun in his hand. Brilliant! We are here to inform you that you've been reactivated. Despite your obvious mental health issues, which apparently no one knows about, or which are being overlooked for some reason, but which are still obvious and honestly kind of frightening. How'd he get like that? His kid died. Accidentally shot himself. Did that not come up before they were sent to fetch him? Allergies. <laughs> what happens when I travel? <laughs> Only dopey nerds have allergies. Hello. Dr. Gary Myers, Hello. how are you? Richard Kind isn't in a Pixar movie in this movie. Two of the three males in this shot are wearing sweater shirt combos worthy of Tim Allen and the Santa Claus. Stargate. Roll credits. My report says 10,000. You know you're a workaholic when getting called back to work is the only thing that can snap you out of a deep depression caused by your son accidentally killing himself. Nothing of import occurred for the next two weeks. I'm never gonna get paid. Daniel plays back his recorded notes so we, the audience, can get up to speed on what he's accomplished in the last two weeks. The answer is nothing. He doesn't dump out the three ounces of remaining coffee in the pot before filling it with water to make a new pot. I mean, what the hell? Do you even coffee? Random, perfectly timed newspaper article that inspires the protagonist ex machina. <laughs> Asking for permission rather than forgiveness. I guess this looks the same, but there are several major differences that give me reasonable doubt. Movie could have at least made the hieroglyphic version have the same general points that the constellation has. Prop Master overloaded the nerd character with an orgy of evidence level of underarm blueprints for this scene. Remember when this asshole was despondent and ready to kill himself? Like, two weeks ago? Is the movie ever gonna address that Well, what device? Huh? Show it. You brought in an expert to help you decipher the markings, but didn't show him everything? The f kind of logic are you following? Daniel draws on the monitor with permanent marker, instead of just saying, hey, I think this is the right symbol. That was in front of us the whole time. I don't think Jackson is a genius so much as Myers is really, really bad at his job. Also, if they knew six symbols already, why didn't they just try the combination with each symbol until the thing turned on? Is it like an iPhone and it will erase the wormhole if you enter the combination wrong more than three times? Also, they go from he identified the symbol to activate the f***er with not only zero questions or objections, but also zero seconds of time. My father found it in 1928. And so he owned it, but he was stupid, so he put it in storage. Discount Fisher Stevens and Discount Summer Glow Cross with Nancy Travis here are in shock. Oh, I just made a Fisher Stevens joke and now the movie's gonna give me a discount Johnny Five. Even if this galaxy did exist, there would be no way they would be able to get any information from a device in this galaxy that is on the other side of the universe seconds after they sent a probe there. Based on this new information, I don't see how we can do that. Well, I could do that. Why are they also taken aback by this? This guy just cracked the code on the Earth portal in two weeks, yet they seem baffled that he would be able to do basically the same thing from the other side. Somehow, in 1994, Fifth Avenue Candy Bars had the marketing budget for product placement in a late summer, early fall blockbuster. Backup storage. Reserve power. On. Having seen this whole movie, I know for a fact this chick is just reciting gibberish for the sake of creating movie excitement. Stargate makes Easy Mac sounds when people step into it. Movie wants this to be a space portal gate, but background dialogue about molecular deconstruction makes me view it as more of a Star Trek transporter, but overall makes me realize this movie's writers don't care or know much about science. <laughs> Daniel is wasting precious time by playing with the Stargate and also bloating the movie's runtime. Also, no one wants to take the time to describe what this feels like. Is it wet? Ticklish? Warm? Fuzzy? Tingly? I guess we'll never know.
they all decide to use flares because flashlights are just too practical. I guess we needed a solid four establishing shots of this structure. Also, I'm not entirely sure this isn't the Temple of Gozer from Ghostbusters. Three Bruce Almighty moons in one shot. That has to be a record. This is a replica of the Great Pyramid of Giza. Isn't the whole point that the Great Pyramid of Giza is a replica of this? Your job here is to realign the Stargate. Can you do that or not? I can't. And this is why they should have discussed it a little further before the general immediately added Daniel to the team. You just turn on the gate from the other side. Oh, no. It doesn't work that way. You see, if you don't turn it on from here, we're screwed. But why, though? Does the Stargate only work in the direction where it's activated? Daniel doesn't immediately notice these footprints after cresting this sand dune. The first alien we see is a buffalo that looks like James Lipton. It's okay. It's okay. Jackson teleported to another dimension, but still has complete confidence he can approach, control, and tame this planet's version of a woolly hippo. You're not even offering it anything, just an open hand of gentrification. This Wookiee mammoth is running way too fast for any humans to keep up with him, but keep up with him they do. Character gets licked awake by gross animal cliche. Based on the size of this dune, I'm not entirely sure he could see anything that would have prompted him to take a closer look. These highly trained military professionals stand in plain view of these potentially hostile alien creatures. So, that is a scary alien ritual. Say, let's walk right towards it. Hi. Even though these human aliens have similar structures to our ancient Egyptians, Daniel doesn't try to speak to them in ancient Egyptian. Instead, he just says hi in English and just stares blankly. Mm -hmm. ah! Ah! Well, handshaking is a pretty American thing. Even multiple cultures on our own planet don't do the handshaking. So some alien kid? Yeah, he's gonna react like you just ordered his castration. Because on this planet, they probably do things differently, you idiots. I can't make it out. In order to help me feel what the main characters are feeling, movie offers up zero captions for this man's comment, leaving me to believe he's saying Darmok and Jala to Tanagra. They all drink this without having any idea what it is. For all they know, it's f***ing antifreeze. And they're drinking from mini bedpans. I took some readings on what they're mining back there. This is the only soldier who's bothering to actually do his job. Even though there were a bunch of tents and shit at the last location, our civilization is way the f far away. So let's walk for a montage. I mean a bit. This alien chip falls for James Spader faster than you can say alien libidos are swift. This was covered up so we could have this dramatic reveal that could also have been accomplished by a simple camera tilt. Also, is it just me or is this Rejoice in the Sandstorm band playing the beat for My Milkshake Brings All the Boys to the Yard? I don't think we should eat any food here. But you will gladly accept their water. It's a chicken. Wah, wah. What the hell's going on? You're on an alien planet after passing through a magical stargate, and you still have enough Earth focus to ask a question like this? Couldn't literally anything be going on that was strange to you right now, but still possibly explainable by the whole not Earth planet thing? No one will be seated during the weird society worships James Spader like the Ewoks worship C3PO scene. It really worked out that these aliens look exactly like humans, and the ruler guy's daughter is hot, or this would have been really awkward. Daniel, I'm Daniel. Are we really having a me, Tarzan, you, Jane moment right now? This interspecies couple that can only communicate via dirt drawings is communicating better after 10 minutes than most married couples I know communicate after 10 years. Going through the Stargate must erase any military training, because these guys clearly don't know how to look around with their weapons drawn anymore. This movie's Kurt Russell is basically half Snake Plissken and half Todd 3465 from Soldier. It took little to no time for one of the humans to teach one of the aliens one of our terrible habits. Hi. Keep it. He's going to be so disappointed when it runs out of fluid. No! Dangerous! I almost forgot that alien kid touching his gun hits incredibly close to home because Jack's son shot himself because no one ever f***ing talks about it. At this point I have to mention I haven't had one goddamn MacGyver sighting in this entire movie and that's worth a sin, goddammit. Nate Naturu. Nate Naturu. Way too many minutes of language lessons. Batmobile Pharaoh 2. Movie places undue value on a Zippo lighter. Just like Out of Sight, The Ocean's Movies, Reservoir Dogs, Die Hard. The weekend's hairstyle suddenly makes sense to me. Just when you relaxed, a violently discount dark crystal attempts to invade the story. He came to a world rich with life. Wall of hieroglyphics on this alien planet explains in great detail the entire backstory of the movie. Now, he apparently found a young boy. Man, his interpretive powers increased tenfold after arriving on this alien planet, where he lucked into already kind of knowing their base language. Where's the seven symbol? It's worn off. Because it would just be too easy for it to be sitting there in pristine condition like everything else in this cave. Can someone teach the colonel and the rest of his crew while we're at it how to properly hold their guns? Well, this isn't fair. These alien creatures have these Egyptian cattle prods. All the earthlings have are these machine guns. 
stay right here and shoot anything that comes down that ramp. Oh, good. I was starting to worry they weren't familiar with the concept of shooting. Put it down, Jackson. Yeah, go ahead and put it down. Your chance to shoot was a good 30 seconds ago and you ruined it. That's a bomb, isn't it? That's what you were looking for. What the hell were you thinking? What'd you come here for? Daniel doesn't ask him three more questions, all in succession, that he cannot answer. Really, dude? You're not gonna try and at least shoot some of these other henchmen headed your way? This guy simply forgot how to military. Strings! Once again, information that could have been useful to me yesterday! Ra needs to watch some of our Bond films, so he'll know that revealing your evil plan to the hero is never a good idea. That still doesn't answer the question of why. Also, ancient Egypt was badass and all, but it was by no means the genesis of every single world civilization. And that's why you don't give a weapon to a prisoner. It's pretty great that everyone on this planet wears flowy brown sheets. It makes it super easy to hide anyone. Holy sh**, these alien gods are terrible shots. And these alien humans are terrible at running away. No one is doing well right now. Take these guns away, Lieutenant, before they hurt themselves. Quick reminder, Jackson accidentally killed himself with a gun. Don't worry, I forgot about it too. For what? To do what? More the same, I guess. There are only like ten bad guys in this movie, and thousands of good guys. I think we need to get this bit out of shape over having them fight. My orders were simple. Track down signs of any possible danger. If I found any, blow up the Stargate. The military sends him on a suicide mission for no reason besides giving the movie a reason to have a bomb, creating this final conflict. Also, do we really need an atomic bomb to blow up the Stargate? A couple of sticks of dynamite would probably do the trick. Or even a really good sledgehammer. Oh, he has a Nintendo Power Glove. That's racist. Yes, I did. I think that's right. So Daniel does some light reading in a cave, and he can speak their language fluently? I mean, maybe. I'm not a linguist. I'm just an asshole. But this seems highly improbable to me. This is a symbol for this planet. Daniel can only discover something when it's unintentionally revealed to him almost at the last second. I found it. Now is not the time for the pronoun game. Give me my A. Thing this white guy showed up to show all the slaves that their religion is bullshit. Hey, they ripped off the Washington Monument. Twice! <laughs> Boy, he sure mastered that otherworldly alien gun in a hurry, didn't he? Where the f*** did this ancient Egyptian asshole get fighter jets? I don't want the bomb to go to Earth just as much as the next guy, but why hasn't he done that already? There is literally nothing stopping him. Whenever you're ready, I guess. I'm gonna stay here, make sure this goes off. Movie inspires Bruce Willis' character in Armageddon, and arguably the entire movie Armageddon itself. You got seven minutes. Now he's needlessly put a time limit on their success, which is why you, my friend, are a dick. Yeah, let's point the enemy's weapon at the nuclear bomb. Seems like a good idea. And I stopped caring. Sorry, I just, I mean, my care meter tops out when it tops out. It's not up to me, and this movie didn't do enough to- Oh, look, I even stopped caring about this sin, about me not caring. <laughs> I'm not sad. I have good news! The timer isn't moving! You've been amused up until now? It's convenient that Ra's Darth Sidious method of killing provides cinematic suspense while also allotting time for the person's rescue. All the other slaves ex machina. Let's hope whatever atmosphere this planet has protects everyone from the fallout. This would probably be really inspirational if I had any idea what he said. Mr. Leave Me Behind is going back now? Even though he's sort of developed a nice father-son relationship with Rufio here. I'm gonna be alright. Daniel doesn't go on to say, My intelligence makes me like a god to them, and the most attractive woman on this planet is super into me. I'm going to do a lot better here than I was doing on Earth. I'll be seeing you around. Definitely not. Walk like an Egyptian. I'm glad you asked that because I wanted to take this time to explain my evil plan. I should have said the poet. Station. The last 24 hours have seen some extraordinary Soviet naval activity. Yeah.